All right, Salim. I told you how this began. Now tell me why. How do I stop Deimos if I'm dead? Your body is dead, but your mind remains alive. I'm connected through your direct neural interface in your subconscious. To save humanity, you must open the portal. With your body gone, the only way to do this is to train your mind. Train my mind? Relive the events preceding your last. Only then can you alter them, change them. <sighs> this... Now this is insane. Let me show you. Think back to when you first met Taylor. Think back to 2065. You're on a train in Switzerland. I'm heading toward downtown Zurich. On Taylor? That's him. Commander John Taylor. The first dead killer. The definition of determination. I was a rookie then. Fresh blood. There weren't many of us. There were more rumors about our division than actual recruits. They said we were engineered to be immune to 6115. That we couldn't get infected. This was your first mission? Yes. Five years after the outbreak, most cities had at least one containment zone. But Zurich managed to stay outbreak free. Now someone wanted to change that. Wait, this, this, this feels wrong. This can't be right. This, this can't be real. How are you doing this? I am not doing anything. This is your mind. I'm the passenger, you're the pilot. But tell me, do you remember the train exploding? No! Stop! Make it stop! Dr. Salim, what's happening? What's going on? You must be calm. This is your memory, and you dictate the truth. But your mind can play tricks on you. It can deceive you, and it can lie. This never happened, but it nearly did. You and Taylor stopped it. How can I see something that never happened? What the hell am I seeing? And why does it feel so damn real? The human mind is fragile. Easily swayed by an incorrect recounting of events. This was one outcome your mind feared. Start from the beginning and take me through the mission. Once we organize everything correctly, we'll be able to find the truth. Tell me about the raid. The raid. There was a Qatardis terrorist collective. They were planning something big, but they knew we were coming. Stop. Don't rush through. Let us start with who was with you. You were not alone, after all. Taylor. He told me they'd received a tip about the Qatardists. These undead sympathizers had sprung up around the globe in the years following the outbreak. They believed the undead were the next step in human evolution. To become undead was to live. The dead should inherit the Earth. <laughs> Crazy, right? Was it only Taylor? Was there anyone else? Sebastian Diaz. The man we saw at Coalescence, who would disable the undead defenses. And back then, he was Taylor's second in command. He would take point on the raid. Hostile encounters were expected with the undead, but that didn't seem to bother him. They were so relaxed. The dead threatened Zurich. They were fearless. Didn't take away our own fears. If I was gonna learn my shit, it would be on the job. This mission was my training. For him, it was just another day in the life. Business as usual. And business was booming.
What are these drops I keep seeing? I saw them in Coalescence too. It is your mind trying to help you through your memories. Weapons, abilities, powers. Use them or don't, but they may offer you a temporary advantage. Where did Diaz take you next? We still have to get to the factory entrance. The entrance was locked. We had to destroy a generator to get it open. That was around the corner, with more dead standing in our way. I had an arsenal in front of me, but Diaz made it clear. He told me to run point on the ground. He was curious to see me think on my feet. In a way, he was acting as your training. Diaz wanted me to earn the name Dead Killer. <laughs> and there's really only one way you can do that. I had support that day, but when you're out there in the real world, you're on your own. No backup, no reinforcements. Just you and the undead. The TARDIS base of operations was just ahead. 
Once we were inside, we'd be able to figure out what they were planning. I don't understand. Tell me what happened. I, I, I saw... I don't know. I saw robots and they were... They, they were ripping me apart. What's happening to me? What was I seeing? It is a lapse. Your mind is wandering into the unknown. Your subconscious finding fears, dreams, doubts. Stay with me. Stay with my voice. You're still in the factory. You were about to make a discovery. We... I, I, yes, yes, there, there was a console head, and Diaz told me to interface to get access to their network. We had to find out what they were planning. Had you ever extracted information with your DNI before? No. Nothing can really prepare you for it. The flood of data, endless streams of infinite information. It's instantaneous, and it's an eternity. What did it show you? The Cotardas had a contact. An inside man at Coalescence World Headquarters in Zurich. We had his address, ID number, security details. The last of which was most telling. He had extensive security clearance at Coalescence. Specifically, he had access to 6115, the virus. Then let us do just that. Let us find him. Take me to his apartment. 